Hello, how are you today? I think we're all familiar with the expression, be careful what you ask for, you just might get it. Well, in our scripture readings today, first off from the book of Sirach, we hear that powerful request of the Lord, Lord, be among us, come to our aid, show us your mercy, fill Zion with your might, Give evidence of your deeds of old. Reward those who have hoped in you. On and on. Lord, just be there. We want to see you. We want you to fill our hearts, fill our lives. And then, then in the gospel passage today, after Jesus has just told the apostles how he is going to go up to Jerusalem, and there he will be persecuted and executed. But then in three days he'll rise. After that, the brothers, James and John, come before the Lord and say to him, Lord, we have a question, a request. When you come into your kingdom, can we sit one at your right and the other at your left? And so he asks them, are you really willing and able to go through what I am about to go through? They say, oh, sure, Lord, sure, no problem at all. We can do that. Oh, okay, he says. Well, you will go through what I'm about to go through. He says, but to grant you the ability, the opportunity to sit at my right and my left, that's not, that's not mine to give. No, he says, he says, that's something that the Father himself alone can give. And then he reminds his disciples, all of them, because the other 10 get a little bit upset because James and John maybe have, thought about asking this before the others did. Jesus says, remember something. Whoever is to be great among you will be the servant of others. Whoever wishes to be first among you will be the slave of all. He says, because the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. In other words, our faith, our faith isn't about just being the winners. Our faith isn't about saying, hey, we got it all. Our faith is about uniting ourselves with Jesus Christ, about walking the path with Christ, about recognizing that, yes, there will be times of struggle and difficulty in living the faith. And only when we are together with the Lord will we celebrate the true wonder and marvel of what believing and what loving is all about. It's about giving. It's about sharing. It's about using all that we are to help others see, recognize, and feel the presence of God, the love of God, the peace of God, the mercy of God. We can't sit back and allow God just to do it all, because he doesn't. He does it through us. If we truly are living the faith, then we are people who give, who share Jesus himself. We become the face, the presence of the Lord, so that others can know him, others can be at one with him. That's the joy that comes with believing. That's what we need to ask for. And that is what God will give us. Take care. God bless. Have a good day.